What's going on guys? How you guys doing? This is Mario Burr here and what I want to do in this video real quick is I want to talk to you about uh, the, the past situations that may have happened in your life that affects your present and where that present decision that you uh, make or don't make, either way you made a decision, it just basically just change your future. Okay. Now, Check this out, guys. I want to share a quick story with you that you're going to be able to relate to. And I, I think back how I uh, made decisions that totally affected my the way my life is today. And haven't I, if I hadn't had a made these decisions, this is my little girl, things wouldn't be where they are today. You see her? She upstairs playing the game. <laughs> well, check this out, guys, real quick. Back, I, I think back, back when uh, about a year and a half ago, when I first uh, met my wife, and how I met her is I, we met online. Okay, I was going through my recovery because I had brain surgery uh, due to a, a condition that I was born with. It was just minor. All right. Well, um, needless to say, prior to that, me going through that uh, uh, situation of uh, brain surgery and the recovery and everything, I dated quite a few women. OK, say about five, six women, probably in about a year and a half. You know, reason being is because I, I got to the point where I just didn't want to be alone anymore. You know, I was a, a single father raising my, my my kid and everything. And I was just doing it all on my own. And I just felt like, you know, I was getting kind of lonely, you know, because everything was about him. You know, so what ended up happening is I started dating. All right. And, you know, and prior to me dating, I, I've been praying the God that, you know, Mrs. Wright come along, you know, in my life and everything. OK, so I started dating and, you know, I, I thought, you know, in my mind, OK, you know, I, I know I should wait for the right one to come along. But nah, maybe I just help God out. I start seeing different women that I was attracted to. So I talked to them and needless to say, the experience turned out bad. They end up cheating or just wasn't loyal. Just all those bad things that happen in, you know, um, unfaithful relationships. OK, so what ended up happening is, you know, gone through five women, every last one of them I broke up with, except for one, go through five different women that I dated. OK. And then I say, you know what? I'm just going to chill. I'm going to give it all up to, to, to you, almighty God. And I'm just going to wait on you. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue praying for Mrs. Wright. Needless to say, right when in the midst of my recovery from my brain surgery, I was struggling, though. I mean, I really didn't have much income coming in, though. I had some, you know, I didn't have much. I was, you know, I felt like I was broke. I felt like I was like crippled. I couldn't do anything. I was in a lot of pain. Just all these different things was happening to me to the point of, you know, I was broken down and she come alone. Come alone. I was like, and I'm thinking, what are you seeing me? What's going on? I met, I'm, she, she contacted me on a dating uh, site. Okay. So I end up talking to her. We talking. I'm like, my goodness, she is perfect. Needless to say, long story short, guys, I um, she liked me. She told me and I, I liked her a lot, you know, from the time we spent talking and texting. I'm like, wow, this is like a dream come true. But there was one problem and that problem was me. All my past experiences almost blocked me from making a decision to meet her and get with her because of my past fears. I thought. She would end up turning the same way. And what did I do? I end up doing the natural thing that most people would do. I started to protect myself. Most people handle these things in different ways. They would even run. They would hide. They would push away. So I decided to hide. You know, I didn't call her for like a week. I didn't answer her calls for like a week. And she was calling me. So everywhere I went, for some reason, I turned left. She was there. I turned right. She was there. I go to sleep. She was there. And I'm talking about in my mind, in my dreams and everything. It was just crazy. And, and even when I was praying, she was there. I'm in the scripture. She was there, you know. So I decided to pick up the phone and call her. And I was scared to, you know, because like I said, I didn't want to get hurt. But that one time, that one call, she said, I, it's funny that you call because I decided you, yesterday that I was done. I wasn't calling you anymore because evidently you just didn't want a relationship. We decided to meet. We met perfect, absolutely perfect. When I had that first date while I was on my recovery, she came in the house and everything was just awesome. Met the kids. Perfect. Everything perfect. Ever since then, perfect. 
You know what? That was a year and a half ago. Now, let me tell you this right now. If hadn't I made that decision, you know, the, the, the conquer my fears and, um, you know, if I would have just ran away from her, let my fears overtake me, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. That's where many of you are today in your businesses and also those that's been watching what was going on on the Internet. You want to make um, additional income, but you continue running back to the safe house. Get a job, get a job, get a job. And you're back in the same situation that you probably were before. Frustrated, tired and broke and living paycheck to paycheck. You know, if I hadn't have made the decision to get where into the business that I am right now or to take my business to the next level and leverage the system and tools that I'm leveraging right now, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. It's because I made a decision, guys, and I'm encouraging, I'm urging you right now because I was exactly where you are right now. I was I was scared. Yes, I was scared, but something when you have something in you that's telling you this is the right thing to do. But yet you're skeptical because all your past experiences is understandable. But you have got to stand up and make a decision to do what you need to do. And now I'm encouraging you to click the link down below, because from me clicking that link down below, from me watching a video just like this, you know, um, back in 2011 from my sponsor who got me from where I am, where I was to where I am right now. I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be able to walk off my job. I wouldn't be able to buy the car that I wanted versus the car that a job was only to able to afford me at that time, which was a $34,000, you know, luxury sporty vehicle. And I, man, I love that car. And now we're in the process of, you know, put, uh, buying our dream home for the level that we're on. Such a blessing, guys. I'm encouraging you click the link down below you want to drive traffic you want to generate leads you want to get sales to your business this is the way click the link down below this is mario bird i will see you guys on the inside i'm about to roll out you guys make it a great day God bless.